Alrighty, welcome back folks. This is Ed making some video tutorials for Python here at my bring back. In the last video we made a, an attempt to describe to you what classes are and what it lacked in eloquence and pithiness and made up for hopefully in simplicity. And so we're going to continue exploring what classes are in Python by taking a look today at class methods. So without further ado, let's take a peek. Alrighty, so we are going to go ahead and define a class right at the start here. This class is called Believer. We'll give it an attribute favorite, and the favorite is always going to initialize to the Beebs. Now we've got two class methods defined here, and you can tell that they're methods of this class because of their indentation. Four spaces out from the start when our class is right there at the zero column means they are methods of that class and they look a lot like function definitions. Now you'll see the, the first method here is called Seize the Beebs and we pass it self, which is passing it to class. We're going to spend a lot more time on what self means and, and uh, constructors and uh, you know, representation methods in some later videos, stuff that's a little bit more behind the scenes. Uh, but for now, just understand that whenever we write a method, we're going to pass self to it. And all this first method does is it prints some text for what would happen when Believer sings the beeps. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a Believer going and we'll show you how this stuff works. All right, so just remember that, uh, oh, this is just a class and let's make a believer called Rachel. Okay, and Rachel is just a class instance, but if Rachel sees the beeves, and because it's a method, we're going to give it an open and closed parenthesis afterward. That's because these can accept arguments. Our second example method does accept arguments, so we'll take a look at that in a second here. But if Rachel sees the beeps, oh, look at what happens. Great excitement. She is screaming. And that's pretty simple. So uh, just to show you that you can accept arguments and do things with them, manipulate them, uh, we'll have Rachel uh, undertake some Twitter defense. Someone has been defaming the Beebs on Twitter and she won't stand for this. In fact, it's your own, my bring back, undertaking this uh, defamation. She's not going to stand by it, so she's going to tweet, you are a hater, frowny face at us. So those are some very basic rudimentary class methods. Whether we see the methods you're working as they should, I want to show you something that maybe will help you understand the difference between a class and then instances of that class. So we saw when Rachel had did some Twitter defense against my bring back that the tweet popped out or, or the you know fake tweet in this environment popped out with no trouble. But if we try to do that directly out of the class itself, so out of the believer class, Twitter defense, and we'll say come out against my bring back here, it'll throw us a type error. So you have to given an instance of the class for the, the method to execute. So if we look at just that line by itself, we don't pass it any arguments. Uh, same thing will happen. If we take the parentheses off, it'll just show us uh, that it's a method to tell us what it is. But this is why instances of class are actual objects in the class is just the blueprint, just the design, just the template. So hopefully that helps shed a little more light on this. I wanted to sort of make the video short and palatable, so we're exploring the concepts of classes and objects slowly and surely and incrementally throughout them. So stick with me. If I haven't covered something yet, have some faith that I'll get to it. And if not, let me know. So once again, this is Ed for my bring back. Appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. Stick with us. We'll get you thinking in ways which you haven't yet imagined.